Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Thank you so much for watching these videos. This is uh, part of the 2013-2014 MTEL Math Workshop Series for teachers that are preparing to take the Math MTELs or a variety of other teacher uh, certification exams in mathematics. Today we're going to look at number 20 on the 53 Math MTEL in Massachusetts. This is a great problem involving percents and word problems. So here we go. Number 20. The skeleton represents approximately 35% of the human body's total weight. A particular body weighs 130 pounds, 23 pounds of which are contained by water contained in the skeleton. Approximately what percentage of the skeleton is composed by water? Well, when I look at this problem, it's a little confusing, and sometimes I'm not so sure what to focus on. So I do something called a tidal anchor strategy. This is a fun strategy. Um, you look for the word that appears the most. Now look at it. Try this now. Try and see if you can find the word in this problem that appears the most. I know some teachers are out there and they'll be like, approximately. Or percentage. Does that appear more than once? No, it only appears uh, once. Well, I see percentage through. Percentage is the core concept, but what's the core idea, core word? Well, skeleton, 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 and it appears any more times? Just three times? Okay, let's make sure as a title anchor you keep your eye on skeleton, all right? So we're always gonna come back to skeleton. We'll see how it fits in in a moment. First, when I read the problem over, I take bits and pieces of information. The skeleton is approximately 35% of the human body's total weight. So if we're thinking in terms of part to whole, the skeleton is my part, the whole is my body. And in this scenario, the skeleton, we don't know. All we know is it's 35%. Oh, and we're going to say the body is 100% of the whole. Now the next line, a particular body weighs 130 pounds. All right, so we know the that the body weighs 130 pounds. We don't know what the skeleton is. We'll call that S. Then it says 23 pounds of which are contributed by water contained in the skeleton. What does that mean? Well, I think of my part to whole relationship again. Now they do tell you, you, you we don't know what the skeleton is, and in this case the skeleton is your whole, but they do tell you what the part is. The part is 23. Okay, so if I know what the skeleton weighs, then I can compare how much of the skeleton is actually um, the water. Does that make sense? Maybe, maybe not. Um, look at this sentence here, approximately what percentage of the skeleton is composed by water? And now look at this shape, shape here, approximately what percentage of the shape is shaded? Well, I know many of you are like, hey, it's uh, 25%. You did that automatically because you're familiar with looking at this and making the connection of part to whole. That comes automatic. Well, it's the same thing here. What percentage of our whole is our part? What percentage of the pizza pie is shaded? All right, I hope you can use that to help you when you think about part to whole relationships. So it looks like the, what we need to find is the skeleton. Hmm, and skeleton was the word that we'd circled as our tidal anchor. So the tidal anchor can lead you in the right direction. All right, so I want to find out how, how would I find out the skeleton? Well, it's 35% of my whole, and uh, I'm going from 100 to 130. How do I do that? It's a little tricky. You could do it a bunch of different ways, but you know, the way that I like to do is, whenever I'm going from 100 to 130, I pretend I'm I'm buying something for $100. I buy it for $100, but I pay $130, so that means I paid $130 uh, sales tax. So that's like me doing 1.3 times um, $100 times 1.3 to get me $130. Now, I'm hoping that that kind of worked for you because that's, how, that's the easiest way to explain it in the time that we have. 100 times 1.3 is going to get me 130 let me confirm that. I do this out. I would get 
actually 1300, but I have to factor in the decimal. So that's true. Well, that's my bridge. 35 times 1.3. Now it's not so nice with uh, 35. The 35 I actually have to go out and do. So that's the only way I'm going to be able to find out. Um, I'm going to, the only way I'm going to be able to find out what the skeleton is if I actually do 35 times 1.3. Or I, I, I'm increasing it by 30%. So uh, let's see, what would that be? Well, the, the 3 times the 5 gets me 5. I carry the 1. 3 times uh, 3 is 9 plus the 1 is 10. Okay, I'm going to go into the problem now. <laughs> Drop the 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 3 is 3. I add these up now. I'm going to get 45.5. So now when I compare, that should have been a 3, sorry about that. When I compare this, I'm really doing 23, which is the weight of the water. Remember, that's my water. But now my skeleton, which I figured out, was 45.5. Now I think it's fair to, at this point, approximate this. 45.5 is approximately 46 over 23, which is exactly reduced to 1 half, which is equal to 50%. So there are core fractions in here, but there's also some really tricky part-to-whole conversions that you have to do involving de um, multiplication of decimals, involving um, de reducing, de reducing um, fractions by common factors, and then finally converting a fraction to percent. So a lot of math here. Great problem if you're taking the, um, the elementary, middle school math exams. Also a good problem to study if you're taking the general curriculum or any teacher math certification exam. Check out one of the MTEL Math workshops if you need help on the Math MTELs. This is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Take care, team. Bye bye. Hi, team. I wanted to uh, encourage everyone, if you have time, to check out one of the MTEL Math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to Go Math and find out more information. Take care. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.